<coughs> hey guys um, it's a perfect Sunday and um, I'm just down here at um, a fresh creek that meets the sea where um, people bring their dogs to uh, play and chill enjoy the Sunday and um, I would talk about I thought I'd get a bit philosophical because um, I haven't for quite a while and it's a really important part of trading um, trading a lot of parallels can be made between trading and life uh, the first being uh, that life doesn't always go your way um, and that can be frustrating and annoying and um, a period of loss but um, that trading can turn around and come back into your favour and go in the direction of your trades. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I've learned um, over past few years not to engage in fear and not to be motivated or driven or triggered by fear um, a lot of the times um, well for example if, if, if you have a trade that goes into significant loss uh, let's say it might go into a thousand dollars you as a new trader and even as an experienced trader you know let's say you've had 12 months of experience are still gonna feel the emotions surrounding or associated with the fear of losing that money and that money being lost out of your equity and that will have a big, big impact on your emotions and on your feelings of success or being successful or being in control. And um, to a huge extent, this also relates to the feelings that people have in their everyday life. Uh, people like to feel that their life is in control, that their environment is in control, that there's someone there they can call on. Um, and therefore, what some people tend to do is relate their trading experience to their own well-being and their own success and their own ability, which is um, not a fair comparison and um, something you shouldn't let yourself do. Um, after a certain period trading, I uh, decided not to use stop losses because I think to a certain extent they are an attempt to ensure uh, a trading decision. And I've just got to move. Um, ensure a trading decision and there are dangers associated with that uh, there are dangers associated with st setting stop losses and relying upon them um, as I see it, there are dangers in having stop losses and a lot of people trade without them uh, It may be another conversation, it may be another video, but um, back to fear. Fear is uh, probably one of the greatest um, emotions, motivating emotions that we have. Um, for many people, it's there in the background all the time, and um, which does help us preserve capital and self and health and relationships uh, for many people it is very triggering and um, 
what tends to happen with trading is that uh, it's very similar to a frog being in a boiling pot in that if we are the frog uh, we can handle the pain of the boiling water uh, for a certain period of time and then emotionally we need to jump out of that water it just gets too much for us um, but there are ways as a trader to manage um, that experience of having a trading loss and um, I can share those with whoever is interested in training with me and uh, very often and I am talking about gold here only uh, very often the price reverses on itself which means your trading loss uh, turns around and returns back into uh, the direction that you believed it was going to go into um, and all you need to do is gain time um, which again reminds us of uh, Buffett saying the um, the two things successful traders need are knowledge or wisdom and time. That's the difference between successful and unsuccessful traders. Um, if you're 40, you can safely say, uh, unless there are unforeseen circumstances, that you have 40 years of trading in front of you. There's no reason why you can't be trading at the age of, of 80. Uh, most of my family have grown into their 80th year and beyond and still been of sound mind so and whatever age you are just assume that you can trade up until 85 and hopefully that gives you uh, the perception of having a very long and large window to trade in and to gain um, knowledge wisdom and use the time that you have um, so really think consciously about managing fear and uh, one of the ways that you can do that is by having very good indicators chart indicators and an ability to read the candles and see what is happening on the chart see what is forming which uh, if a turn is forming, that will help to allay your fears and um, avoid you closing any large trades due to the motivation of fear. So I hope that's been informative and been helpful. Um, if this is a problem for you, uh, I can help you alleviate it and manage it. Uh, as, like I say, you just need good charts and you need good indicators and you need uh, a bit of experience and at times you need the support of someone that else that has that experience and with that you will become a very successful and profitable trader if you trade with the trend uh, even if you don't trade the um, the uh, retraction you will still be a very profitable trader. Uh, you'll be trading the months as opposed to trading the weeks. Uh, and that is your decision to make because you can trade the retraction if you choose. Um, and all you need to do is be analytical and mathematical about the whole process. All right, guys, I hope you have uh, a Sunday as good as what I'm having. I mean, have a look at that. That is just a swing that came out here this way. And look how beautiful it is. The light breeze. That water is warm. There's patches of cold. That's fresh water going into, into the sea. Um, so really all I need is a cold beer. And um, that's what I'm going to work on for the rest of the afternoon. Alright guys, talk to you on... Monday. Remember it's a non-farm payroll next week. Cheers.